Here we go again. If I don't have a gun that doesn't have a legendary weapon effect, I cannot touch them. I'm not allowed to attack, but I can block. Oh, what the heck? Who is that? Why are there roaches here? Here! I'm here! Kill me! Come on! What? Why are you here? And we're gonna freaking get that roach and make him die in the freaking electricity! Hey, roach! Hey, roach! Hey, roach! Come follow me! Follow me! Come on! I'm going to take you on a magical adventure. I said in the first time I did this series, I will say it again. Screw you, Voltec! Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Today we will focus on strength. In the wasteland, essential supplies will be scarce. When an item of value is found, keep it close and away from bullies. The stronger you are, the more you can carry. Be sure to know your limits, or you may find it challenging to escape from hazardous scenarios, no matter how strong you are. There are other situations where you may find yourself in close proximity to unfriendly neighbors. For such cases, you must learn to defend yourself using your natural strength. Use anything sharp or sturdy enough to swing. Get creative with your implement, but stay reasonable and look for anything that can further enhance your innate vigor. The greater your strength, the greater the impact. But remember, some moments require more than muscle. Keep doing your chin-ups and push-ups because there's more strength can do for you. Swing for the fences like the pros, crafting specialized protective gear to keep, or building clever weapons to wield it. Regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? What is up, Stargazers? It's your boy Lucas Star coming at you with a new video to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing a new Fallout 4 series. If you didn't know, last time I did a Fallout 4 horror series, which you can check out on my playlist on my channel. And yeah, aside from all that, we are doing a basic vanilla game run of Fallout 4. Uh, to let you guys know uh, what we got, we got some add ons. We got the Automatron, Wasteland Workshop, Far Harbor. We got the Contraption Workshop DLC. We got the Voltec Workshop and Nuka World. We got all those DLCs and add-ons installed. So we have got the full game of Fallout 4 at our disposal. And today we are going to be doing a new gameplay rundown of Fallout 4. So, without any further ado, let's jump into this thing. Here we go. I will give more details of what we are going to be doing in the game as we get into it. But as for now, we are going to be jumping into the main cutscene of the game. We are going to be showing off what the introduction into the Fallout 4 gameplay is. Just swing for the loading screen. Oh yeah, buddy. Here it is. <laughs> Here we go again. I'm gonna let this cutscene play out for y'all this time so y'all can enjoy this little cinematic movie. War. 
war never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, guys, so let that cutscene play out for y'all just so you can, guys can enjoy it. Now, I'm going to design my character. Now, I'm going to go over into here. And I'm going to quickly design my character. You guys will be able to check out how I create him. I'm basically going to do the same thing I did with the, on my horror series. I always design my characters mainly the same way. Just kind of similar to hey, me, how I look. Did you get a haircut yesterday? All right, guys. I believe this is how I'm going to design my character for this game plu uh, game plu gameplay. I believe I've got everything sorted out. Let's see. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to confirm. And here we go. As you can see, no mods have installed. This is a complete modless gameplay. Hello, Cosworth. How are you doing? Good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, ruled to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Okay, for this gameplay, I'm doing something completely different from like the last one. I'm going to let all cutscenes play out as they would. 
I'm going to not skip any dialogue. I'm going to play this as if I've never played this game before in my life. You know, make sure everything Rodman, is in. The Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. So yeah, I've played this game countless times, but there are those on my channel who have never played this game before. And I'm going to make sure everyone gets, you know, their fair share of knowledge of this actual you know, gameplay. I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Yeah, and this time I don't got any scars. <laughs> okay, so, another thing I'm going to be doing that isn't common in most gameplays. Bunch of our old holotape recordings. I'm going to do this game without killing or harming or even touching a single enemy with a gun that doesn't have a legendary weapon effect. If I don't have a gun that doesn't have a legendary weapon effect, I cannot touch them. I cannot do a single thing to them. Okay, the uh... Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Yeah, this guy, the vault -Tec, This guy right here is the, uh... Vault Tech Salesman, he will give us our vault. Good oh, morning! Vault Tech Rep, Vault that's Tech calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. <laughs> You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. This is where we... 21 points available, what the heck? Okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how many, like, it's been so long since I played a vanilla gameplay. Alright, so... This is where we determine what our guy is going to have. I'm going to give him some stuff in strength, endurance, and nothing in intelligence. Nothing in intelligence. Some uh, basic luck. Yeah. Uh, ooh, not intelligence. Right, nothing in intelligence. All right. That seems good. That seems good. Okay, 21. Let's see. All right, this guy, I'm going to tile him the legendary... So, no, no, no. The Legend of Lucas the Star. Here we go. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Lucas, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Okay, let me just read this real quick. I'm so proud of her. Mm-hmm. Good old USA. All right. So, now is, uh, as you can see, we've named our character the Legend of the Angel, the, the, the Legend of the, we named our character the Legend of Lucas the Star. Now, we are going to go ahead and play with our baby. 
how are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Yeah, Sean looks a lot more normal in this version. In my horror series, he looks weird as heck. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Oh, well, do you know? Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? All right, time to watch some TV before we uh, go to the park. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Oh my. Residents of Sanctuary Time. Hills. To run Get away! Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Okay, so in this gameplay, I'm going to be doing this game the unconventional way. Most people, they would just go about the game, you know, choosing one of the four factions right away. I'm not going to do that. Well, you guys will see what will happen as I play. So make sure to stick around. It's a series for that. Make sure to like and comment, subscribe if you're not already. That's absurd! I am not on the list. Check. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything Nothing we can. Good. Now keep moving. All right. As you can see, we are approaching the vault, and my, 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 these trees look amazing. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. I got you, bro. Step on I got the platform. you. In I the feet. center. Come here. Get on the platform. All right. Here we go. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. Yes, we did. We're well, okay. <laughs> for now. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... <sighs> No, we'd no. all be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Everything okay? We made it. This is our new home. We can. It's gonna be okay, right? I can't promise you that. Stairs, it's gonna please. be okay, right? Mm. Excuse me. Up the stairs. Proceed in an orderly fashion. Right up the stairs and through that large gear-shaped door. Hey! Head inside. Just up the stairs there. Just head up the stairs. We'll take care of everything. Welcome to your new home. Thanks. Vault Tech is here for you. 
If you guys don't know, I made a Minecraft version of this vault in one of my worlds. Uh, you guys can check that out in the Coolvid series. Me and my girlfriend, we played together on it. Mail. Mail? One vault suit. Now just head down the hall. Good. Over there. Take a suit. Just step over Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. It's down uh, the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. These guys are just so... They're so creepy. They don't See, seem human. This is our new home. Yep. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father Sir? down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time. But how Vault long Tech do you think we'll be down here? Step of the way. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Hey, hon. I think he's better. You go ahead. Okay, guys. This is where everything goes from seeming like we may have some hope of being a happy family to, well, you'll see. Let's go into this quote-unquote decontamination pod. I said that in the most weird fashion. Decontamination. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Just like that, everything went from bad to worse. This is the one here. Open it. Don't you lie to her, Kellogg. And that's it. That is how everything went from bad to worse. realize something what version of the game am I playing on what difficulty am I playing on
Oh. Uh, uh yeah. Did that work? Yeah. Are we on difficulty that? Let's see. If, let's see what happens if we turn it off. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So we managed to turn it on in survival mode. That's great, great, great. Survival mode is the mode I wanted to play on because it's the hardest difficulty. And yeah, it has a lot of things to the game already. So yeah. What would normally happen is that you would unlock the crap hot with this control panel and like you know you, you would take a ring from your wife with the wedding ring and you would go out and say i'll finally do this and i'll get sean back i promise but there if you don't do that if you leave the ring on her finger and bring a companion down here with you they'll be they'll notice that's your wife so i want to get that special dialogue so we're going to continue and exit through the store Let's see. I'm also going to be reading whatever we find on terminals. So yeah. Let's see. Uh, I believe over here there is a terminal. Yeah, right here. Cryogenic array. Let's see. Cryogenic array offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Life support. Life support offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. The same thing. Pod occupy. Wait. Pod occupant st status. Okay. Mr. DiPietro. Deceased. Sidney Coffrin. Deceased. Mrs. Whit Whitfield. Deceased. Mrs. Mrs. Coffrin, deceased. Mr. Whitfield, deceased. Mr. Coffrin, all of them are deceased. No one survived this. God. Why would Vault do this? Why indeed? Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? You come over here. Cryogenic Ray. Same thing. Life support, same thing. Pod one empty. Applicant not available. Let's see. Mrs. Callahan. Oh, let's see. Aspiration due to life. Support failure. Let's see. Cause of death. Aspiration due to life support failure. Okay, same thing. Sean and Nora, infant. Status unknown. Pod door manual override engaged. The Legend of Lucas the Star. Status unknown. Remote override engaged. And then Mr. Russell, deceased. So, as far as we know, we are the sole survivor. Aside from Sean, whose location we don't know. All we know is that he was kidnapped. Taken from us. Taken from our wife. Ripped from her arms as she was gunned down. Now, Rad Roaches. They are the first enemy we will encounter in the game. Normally, you would grab the security baton and you would attack them, but as you know, I decided to not use any weapons or anything on a you know enemy that's in my hands, like any kind of weapon or anything at all, to kill any like hustle mob or any enemy. We are going to be doing this with only legendary weapons. If we don't have a legendary weapon, that's going to be it for us. Let's see. Vault 111 security instructions. Let's see. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security eyes only violation VTP 01011. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Basically, they experimented, on us, they experimented on us without our consent. Security staff, or knowledge, uh, security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are the staff allowed to de deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Wait, what was that? Operation Protocol Manual. Let's see. Residential admittance. 
Upon activation notice of from Volt Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with the admittance of Volt residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Volt. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents are not residents are accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and be detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of detainees, uh, ooh, dispose of detainees, which most likely means kill them. Vault entryway must be remain, must remain sealed under any circumstances. Okay, staff duties, science staff, Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of the cryogenically preserved residents. I can't, I can't read that. Uh, Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity, in particular, in particular, in particular, must be recorded hourly. Dang. So this is a hourly job. Let's see. Life's life-saving interventions is only permitted if the if greater than 8% of the resident population has not perished or has perished in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Basically saying unless 80% or greater of the resident population is dead, we will not interfere if there is some sort of issues going on with any of the uh, any of the vault dwellers. Basically saying if you die, you die. Independent research is encouraged and left to the overseer discretion. Let's see. Security personnel. Security patrols can be are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leak leaks, uh, settling disputes among personnel, enforce of rec enforcement of regulations set forth by overseer. Enforcement of regulations set forth by Voltec. All right. Facility service and maintenance. Due to the nature of Volt 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact the exact distribution distribution of these roles is left to the overseer's discretion. All right. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Let's see. Following a nuclear event, Voltec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors once conditions are deemed safe. This terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, Voltec personnel may be evacuated at the overseer's discretion. Disregard any notice from organizations or individuals not associated with Voltec. Including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Voltec will attend to their needs remotely once Volt 111 staff have been evacuated. So, their life is in the hands of Voltec, which basically means their life is screwed. Mandatory shelter period. Volt 111 is classified as a short term assignment. Non resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all clear message uh, all clear signal to evacuate in the absence of the all clear message from vault tech the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment under no circumstances may vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving the all clear Unless receiving the all clear message from Voltec. Security logs. Let's see. October 23rd, 2077. God, it's finally happened. The world is over. Barely got all the residents inside. Now everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Egg has tried explaining this to me. To keep that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something I don't know it just seems it does it just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice shouldn't we have told them or something 
So not even all the people in Voltec were just blind followers. They were just, you know, people with jobs. Let's see. December 25th, 2077. So that's about two months away apart on Christmas. Let's see. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the Volt security boys and sports staff and had a little party. Best snacks got handed out. Uh, best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake. That wasn't too stale. That's depressing. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They they hide something from us? Another company secret only for the higher-ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all-clear message is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. The se March 14th. The next year. Dang. Oh, wait. Yeah, because uh, Christmas. <laughs> 2078. Let's see. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period, everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying the all clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we've only have enough food for another few months. Tops. The overseer is telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on, I just know it. April 13th, 2078. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has he has one of the science teams watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight, support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. So the Volt people, the Volt Tech security staff, and uh, staff itself are going against the eggheads. They're having a little mutiny, turning on them. They're, they're being left out of loop. They aren't treated equally. So let's see. It just says last entry. No date. No all clear message from Volt Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the vault. I mean, confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in the vault in this office, along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over all food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there are going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone, it's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. So they presumably killed each other due to all that disagreement and, you know, getting all stir-crazy for being here for so many months, some, such a long time without any food. So presumably, they killed each other while we all died from, you know, overexposure to probably the, the, the crowd pods. Perhaps it was due to being left out in the crap pods because I believe Kellogg and the science staff that you saw, the science guys in the hazmat suits that you guys saw over there, I think they just, you know, they only froze me back, but they left everyone else in the pods alive and conscious, you know, to basically die. To just, de to just starve, be dehydrated, left to rot. So, let's see. Here is where we're going to encounter our first rat roach, and since I'm in survival mode, I can't quick save. Enemies are much tougher. The best, and I can't kill them, so let's see. Our best option. Is that right there. Okay, that rat roach is dead. Good. Giant roaches? What the hell? Yep. The nuclear radiation has turned these household pets, pests, pets, who, ha who has a pet roach. They turn them into these things. I'm not allowed to... Ooh. Ouch. I'm not allowed to attack, but I can block. Okay. Three of them are dead. That's good. That's good. I'm not allowed to kill them, but there's no rule against, like, you know, making the electricity kill them.
Oh! Wait, uh, thank you, Electricity, for being so cooperative. All right. So we managed to get those rad rushes killed. Oh, and you're about to see something that's only customary to survival mode. In survival mode, you're able to fill empty bottles with liquid. What you want to do is you want to go to a, a sink right here, press X to fill bottle, and boom, you got purified water. If you do it in like a lake or anything that's not like in a vault, from a vault source, you're going to uh, basically get decontaminated water, dirty water. All right. Another thing that's only customary in survival mode, you'll be able to get tired or you'll be able to get sleepy, which will be negatively infecting your body and you know, how you operate basically. You'll get blurry vision, you'll get tired, you'll get slower, you won't be able to sprint, stuff like that. You'll be getting hungry and thirsty, which will impact your special stats. I forget, every, even sleeping impacts your special stats negatively. The more sleepy or hungry or tired or thirsty you'll get, the more it'll negatively impact your physical well-being and your special stats. Just drink up so that way we're at full health. Alright. Re recreation terminal. Let's see what's on this terminal. Alright, Overseer's Memo. Let's see. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Alright, top 10. Let's see. Rick, Tim, TGM, say SQV, TNM, TCL, TDT, STT, QQQ. Basically, I guess this must be the high scores for all the people who played this little game right here. The Red Menace. Basically Donkey Kong, but uh, <laughs> it's China. How high can you get? Okay, let's try. We'll play a round of this until I die. I was never good at this game. So let's see what I can do. I'm being recorded, so the pressure's on. Let's do this. Bruh, I jumped right into it. I meant to jump over it. You get points if you jump over those things. Gotta time it right. Oh! Okay, you know what? Screw that game. Let's just take the holotape, because why not? And let's go to the next location. Take any scrap you can find, because, you know, if you pick up scrap, you'll be able to use it for building. And building is a function in this game. Okay, let's see. We got two enemies right out here. Hopefully we'll be able to bring them over to the electricity thing. Hey, come on. Come this way. Okay, that's one... Come on, stand my ground, stand my ground. Okay, if I get... Okay, you know what? This is the time when we run. This is the time where we run. We're very low health. I'm not taking any chances. I'm not taking any risks. If we get to a certain point where our health is this low, we run. We get the heck out of there. We bug out like them rad roaches. We're going to stay here until... We get out of caution and we go back to Hidden. Once we go back to Hidden, we'll go back there, we'll drink some water to heal up our, you know, health. And then we will bring that rat roach back out and we'll use that electricity to kill him. Because that's not us killing him, that's just him being stupid and dying to electricity. I hope that by saying that he was being stupid, I didn't just... Jinx myself or do myself, like I did just right there. Okay, we're back in Hidden. Oh, let's see, we can watch to see if he's going anywhere throughout here. Let's see. 
see if he moves or if we if he's already over there. <laughs> oh, there he goes. It looks like he's going through the electric the electricity thing. He survived, sadly. That's unfortunate. Let's drink some water. Get our health all the way back up. After that, we'll tackle that roach once again. I'm not taking any chances. This is survival mode. It's hardcore, my dude. You guys want to... Look, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just spamming the button so that way I keep on drinking. As you can see, we're not only taking damage from the roach, which uh, left our health bar that is blue, like it decreased, but we also got a little sliver of red health bar right there, which is basically rad damage, which means we cannot get to full health until we take some rat away, that rat away, or just go to a doctor and ask to get our rats removed. Because what happens um, when we take rad damage, we, we can receive it from any enemy or just radiation from certain places. And that prevents us from getting the full health. It, it, and if we get like, you know, if we have like only health and rads, if we take more rad radiation, if we get any more radiation stuff around us, it will take radiation damage and that will negatively affect our health even more. So let's see. Time to come over here. I knew I was going to rush into that. Oh, come on, you didn't die from that. Why didn't you die from that? I, I could have swore you got hit twice. Yes, thank you, electricity. All right. That's another Rad Roach dead. We are going to go over here. We are going to drink and heal up. Then we are going to enter that door and we are going to read what's on the terminal, get whatever we can. I'm not going to pick up any weapons, just ammo, just ammunition. Other than that, we are going to open up the excavation tunnel. I think that's what it's called, or the evacuation tunnel. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of rad roaches. We're not going to waste our time fighting those ones. We're just going to full on just sprint out of there. We're just going to sprint away from them as far as possible. Stim packs. Now we have stim packs. We can heal ourselves with, without using like water or stuff like that. Let's take this uh, little clipboard right there. Get that. Skeleton. What happened here? Where is everyone? Why are you looking at me, bro? Oh god, this isn't even the spooky. Mo this isn't even the horror gameplay. What are you doing, my good sir? Yeah, you don't look too hot there, chief. Okay, he stopped doing that. Let's see. We're going to continue looking around, getting ammo, just because we find a legendary weapon that takes, you know, uh, you know, 10 millimeter ammo. We'll take that one. Nice. Coming back later for you. Now, the cryogen, the cryolator, that's a unique weapon. Now, I know what I said, like, you know, about only using legend, legendary weapons, but I believe, you know, unique weapons are an exception because you get the same sound effect when you pick them up it goes like boom or whatever like a windows computer powering up so yeah when like windows like le unique weapons and legendary weapons are in the same category they're not your basic weapons so yeah we're gonna be using unique and legendary weapons okay let's see yeah this is another some of this says repeated cryolator let's see what's in here I've long dreamed of making a cryogenically freezing. I long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable, on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're we're in no short supply of chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Let's see. Overseer operations protocol manual. Let's see. Basically, the same stuff we've already read before. Let me read that again. Overseer's log. Preparations. Let's see. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Voltec supervisors came up 
this week to do a technical review with me. The vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time, I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. So it turns out, it looks like the overseer himself, he didn't have any like, you know, uh, negative, hostile intentions towards these vault dwellers like me. He just thought, you know, that they were going to be treated with, you know, they were going to jump forward in time and see the, the world as it unfolds while being experimented on. You know, he had like, he had the intention of thinking this is going to turn out nice. But his method is, the way is unorthodox and it is unjust, unright. You're evil, sir. Your, your intentions, no matter what they were, your actions were evil. October 23rd, I'm guessing in the year 2077? Let's see. It happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notes than expected, but only Lord Hagen is miss was missing when we sealed the entrance. So one of their men didn't make it. They were left out in the nuke. Let's see. Resident and minutes went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the Cryogenic Pods. Even when I first played this game through, I was like, that doesn't look like that doesn't look like a decontamination pod. That looks like there's ice on it. I was just like looking around, I was like, this looks suspicious. <laughs> it didn't seem like Decontamination pods. It looked like cryo pods. Even from the start, I knew that's what it was. System malfunction. Let's see. Strange issue today with pod C3. Suspect appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We've realized we realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started falling her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in. Voltex's remote override systems may have been sent and er, may have sent an urgent signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. Uh, I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Okay, let's see. Supplies running low. There's been no all clear signal yet, even though we've we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last more than that. That's just dumb, honestly. You should prepare for, like, two years in the future at least. Have enough supplies that you can just, you know, consume without worry, you know? Okay, let's see. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing here. You think? I would, I would, <laughs> I'd be questioning too. If people think we can just leave when 180 days are up, they're insane. The, radi the radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals were are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear signal was to re receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to... Keep everything under control until the all clear. Mutiny. Let's see. A faction led by security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prior prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I have been too damn generous with these rations. If people don't like it, well, that's a fewer mouths to feed. So yeah, they all turned on each other, most likely kill each other. Okay, open the evacuation tunnel. Time to open this thing up. We've got all the supplies we can have here. It's time to quickly run through and pray we don't get eaten to death. All right, let's do this. Ah! One hit, we took a hit, but that's okay. One hit's a, one hit, one hit is acceptable.
어, 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 어. We're in a danger zone right now. Please don't come up here. Please don't come up here. We're in caution. I can hear them. Or maybe that's just something else I'm hearing. But we are going to have to wait some time. Even after we're hidden, we're going to have to wait for a while. So that the way those rat roaches will go away from us. After that, I'll try to lead the two rat roaches that are in like the main area where we're going to get our pit boy somewhere else. Hopefully, if we, I can, I'll try and kill them in the electric thing with a boob. <laughs> and then after that, we will escape this vault. Finally. Alright. Let's, let's peek out. Fats. Okay. To mark a target for attack, press right trigger. Guns can be... Guns can target specific limbs with uh, the left control. Okay. Uh, switch to a nearby enemy with the right control and press A to execute your attacks. Basically explaining how to use that. Yeah, over there. All the rat roaches, they're packing it in, thankfully. Just gonna wait for those suckers to leave. Then we'll go about our business. Let me actually, uh, I want to stay on top of my health. So I'm gonna come over here, heal myself up. Let's see, where's a water fountain at? Here we go. Gotta be sure I stay cautious, because until I get legendary weapon, I'm stuck moving around in this situation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see. Hey, right over here, right over here. Oh, he's right on my butt. Come on, man, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna do something fun, you know? Uh oh. Oh, what the heck, who is that? Why are there roaches here? I mean, ah! Okay, uh, pause. We may have done a bad. Ha oh, ha ha oh. Okay, yeah, we're being attacked from behind. Okay, okay. I don't know why that roach was over there. Oh, okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still freaking Oh wow. That could have gone really bad. That could have that could have sent me back and we would have had our first death right there. Not only that, we would have had to do all that progress again because I didn't mention this before, but in survival mode, you can only save by sleeping in a bed and when we're in the vault right now, we can't sleep because like we got to keep moving because if you go to a bed in the vault and you try to sleep in there, you're like it's, it says Gotta keep moving. Can't rest now. Gotta keep moving. And we had to go out of the vault and exit the vault. Then if we go back in, we can sleep in the beds. But we can't sleep in the beds right now. We can't save in survival mode. Which makes this hard because I'm going to do this without any normal weapons. And I can't even use my fist. I can't throw a punch at an enemy. I have to use legendary weapons only. Legendary and unique weapons. So... I'm going to uh, go for a second while everything, like, hopefully goes away. So, uh, BRB. Okay, guys, I am back, and let's see. Time to hopefully do this right. Before I go 
back over in there. I'm going to check on what's over here. Being cautious, being sneaky. I wonder if this guy just is this all that's left? Died right there. <laughs> ow, ow. I wonder if he just died right there, being electrocuted by that generator. All right. We're going to drink some water, and then we are going to try and escape here. I'm hoping that that one roach just vanished into the netherlands of the forest or something, because I don't want to encounter him or any other roach ever again. Alright, we drank our water, we drank all we could we drunk all that we could drink. Let me just not sprint now so my AP can go up. Okay, that, that sucker's back. Over here, buggo, buggo, buggy boy, buggy boy! Uh-oh, I think he sees me now. Here, here, I'm right over here. Here, I'm here, kill me, come on. <laughs> what? Why are you here? You stupid roach. Why was that roach there? Just walk over in there. Yikes! Ah Come on. Yes! Thank you, electricity. Thank you, electricity. I, th I thought I was going to get zapped there, and I was going to say, screw you, electricity. <laughs> okay, drink some water. We have one more roach to take care of, and then that is it. Okay, assuming... Okay, let let's, let's hope that we got this. Let's hope we got this. This roach is going to pop out of the rug right there, right now, and we are going to just get out, get out of here. We're going to get out of here. What? Are we not in danger? There he is. There he is. There he is. He's he's getting on us pretty fast, honestly. Hi, how you doing? That's a broken arm. Come on, electricity. Work with me, pal. Work with me. Electricity. Okay. Electricity is not working with me. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There he is. Yeah, just 
escape. This is gonna escape. All right, we're hidden. Okay, we're gonna wait until we've healed up, and that'll be over. Let's see. Gonna watch. We're just gonna watch. See that roach uh, comes our way. Yep, he's coming. He came. You know, they move pretty fast. Roaches. You know, they move pretty fast. Okay, that could have gone better. We broke our arm. God, we had to use a stim pack. Which, thanks, which thankfully heals us in this version. We thankfully got healed because of that stim pack. But that also means we lost the stim pack. So that's kind of bad. But we can just heal up and try again. We'll get more stim packs later. But right now, we got we got four. How we got four stim packs? Unless we got one from the locker or something. Because normally you get four stim packs. So, hey, I mean, eh, what do you know? I, I think that's pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. We could be, we could be, bleh. we could be doing a lot worse. We're, we could be doing probably a little bit better, but our luck has been phenomenal so far. All right, let's see. Don't tell me he's gone back under the mat. Behind that. Hey, Roach! Right here, buddy. Yep. Come on. Follow us. Come here, Roachy. Come here, you disgusting freaking parasite. Block him. Block him. Block him. Ooh, he got hit on me that time. Ooh, he got hit on me that time too. This roach certainly has more valor. We're doing bad. We're doing bad. We're doing bad. This time, ugh. why is this roach so much harder to kill than all the other ones? Why is this roach dishing out that hot high damage and giving us the jukes? Okay. Wow. We got low that time. This might all just be one video. Escape Vault 111. All right, then. Now that definitely could have gone better. It's like our luck vanished. Like, we use, we use up all our luck in the first round. Why'd they do this? We used up all our luck in the first time when that went up with the other roaches. And now we're just out of luck. We're just done. We're just screwed. All right, I'm going to drink up some water, and then we are going to go back, and we're going to freaking get that roach to make him die in the freaking electricity. So be right back. Okay. Here we go again. Hey, roach. Hey, roach. Hey, roach. Come follow me. Follow me. Come on. I'm going to take you on a magical adventure. You can bite a chunk out of my deliciously tasty booty. Come on, come on. Come on and come on. I'm going to make you die from electricity over the over voltage. <laughs> come on, boy. Come on, or, or girl, or whatever you are. Just come on here. Join your family. Join your family of... Yes! Burn in heck. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We got those roaches done. 
We don't need to get all the vultures, the, the vultures, the roaches in the evacuation tunnel. We can just, we can just board that up. Yeah, let's just. Close that, yeah. Close this too, just for good measure. All right, who? See. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Only Sean, my friend. Only Sean. Let's see. Get ourselves another volt suit. All right then. All right, it's time. Let's see. We a pit boy, and thankfully, would you look at that? Alright, with the Pit Boy, we can access our weapons, apparel, aid, miscellaneous items that will help us through our missions or whatever, junk, which is just stuff that we can use for upgrading weapons or building summons, mods, uh, for th this one I believe is for modifications to weapons, and this is for ammunition. Data where we can access our missions, workshops, like you know, our like uh, basically stuff that we can, our summons we can build, and stats. Let's see. Basically stating how much stuff we've done in here. Let's see. Food eaten. Is there like a thing that says damage take taken? Let's see. There's nothing that says damage taken, huh? Alright then. Quest completed. Yeah, combat. Let's see. I've killed nothing so far, so that's great. Let's see. Crafting crime. Ah, bad things are done, basically. Okay. So let's see. Map, where we can see any location in Fallout 4, in the vanilla game, right here. Or we can go up here, where we will go into Far Harbor. There will be another map. Or over here, where we will be eventually be able to go to Nuka World. And that will be a whole other map as well. Radio, where we can access different frequencies to listen in on different things. Stats, which shows us how we are, how we look, if we have any, like, certain uh, status effects, like uh, illness, or hunger, or the effects of certain chems. Special to see how we are doing in our special stats. Overall, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Perks. We have no perks so far. This, this will we will get by leveling up our character, and um, doing certain missions, getting certain books that will give us certain perks. And completing certain missions that will give us some perks, stuff like that, you know? We'll get more perks as we play out through the game. Let's see, and now, time to exit Vault 111. That, my friends, is the legendary scene, and this will be another legendary scene that we are about to uh, see as we exit the vault. All right, then. This thing goes up.
And we may now enter the vault like this. Okay, hold on a second now. Let me just equip. I don't have any weapons. That's good. Let's see, I'll equip these glasses though. Let's see. Other than that, time to exit the vault. Stand on this center thing right here. Let's see, we don't want to change appearance. We don't want to change anything about ourselves. We're perfect. Let's go. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. I said in the first time I did this series, I will say it again. Screw you, Vault Tech. Those who are reserved a spot in Vault Tech, Vault 111 have no idea they would be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost every vault was actually a secret social experiment conducted by Vault Tech. Another legendary scene. Yeah. The world we left is gone now. And this is the world we have to live in now. The world set before us. And we're in survival mode, so this ain't no joke, my friends. We are going to have to make the most of it. And we are going to have to try our hardest not to be killed. Antibiotics, yes. Antibiotics will help us, like, cure any illness we have, basically. Let's see. Like that stuff. Oh, Molotovs. I, I can't use Molotovs or grenade, grenades either, because those have, they're not legendary weapons. So, yeah, I won't be able to use those, which genuinely sucks. It's not preferred. But this is going to be my, basically, run of how... Fallout 4 should be played to get every single perk you could possibly get while making it also have the best ending. So yeah, let's come over here. We're going to go to our old home, Sanctuary Hills. That's our first bit of XP. Let's see. All right, let's see. We're gonna talk to Cosworth in a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode right here and we will continue this series next week. Oh, just... That's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And hit the bell, I'll stay up when I post a video. Hit the comment section down below if you got any questions or suggestions or whatever. Make sure to always stay posted when I'm of, um, uploading, which is going to be quite frequently. And uh, yeah, guys, share with your friends, watch another video. This is your boy, Luke the Star, shine bright like a star. I will see you guys in the next video where we are going to be talking to Cosworth and meeting up with, hopefully, meeting up with Preston. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, peace out, y'all.